Welcome. So with the release of the new Teams client really starting to get out there, I wanted to go over what you have to do to kind of get it set up and functional. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to go in, into your Teams admin console and you'll go to update policies and what you do is you create a new Teams policy. And so the way I did it is there's you basically you name it and you select two things. Now with this policy you want to do new teams as default for the new teams client. Um, and you either can do users can opt in or on for users in the current channel preview if that's for the office public preview. So you basically take that and then you will apply it to users. You'll see as I went and I applied it to myself. Pretty simple, easy, no big deal. Now once you've done that there are some challenges and some issues you might run into. Let's talk about that now. So the other part of it, which you can see in this article, and I'm having a little bit of a hard time reproducing it, is that when you go in and you try to actually switch yourself to try the new teams, you'll get to this little error here, which says due to org policy, you cannot install the new teams. I mean, because sometimes it could be a replication issue, but for me, this was actually the thing that fixed it. So you're going to see here it references a couple of registry keys that you're going to go ahead and you're going to have to set. So let me just show you those real quick. So the first one here, which is under HKLM software, Microsoft Windows current version app model unlock. You go ahead and you switch this to a one. Then there's one other key. Then the other one here, which is HKLM software policies, Microsoft Windows app X. I set these two to one, which was allow trusted apps and allow development without dev license. And once I've done that, I click a little button and ta-da, I'm into that new experience. 